you're welcome to my channel the mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now when you hear the word isometric projection the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your isometric axis that means you take your instrument right you draw your vertical line this way and you draw the horizontal line to this way hope you can see that and you also draw this one too this way this is the first thing you will first of all do right so you look for the entire length the entire length here given here given to be 28 as you can see so i'm going to measure 28 from this point here from zero this is 20 28 here i should zoom it up so you see what i'm talking about here you can see that 28 here now the entire length here the width here if you check from the top here 18 plus 12 and that is what that is 30 so i'm going to measure 30 from here from zero to 30 that's what we have there right you can see take it up a little bit too oh you can see that now the height is given to me from here to here which is 40 so the entire height for that figure is given to be what 40 from 0 to 4 and that is 40 hope you can see that and i'm going to project it upward this way from here it will go up from here also it will go up then what i use to get here i will use it to get here from this height here 40 i'll turn it again here and i'll do the same thing height of 40 and i'll close it up too and i'll close it up too Are we there? So let me still zoom it up too. That is what we have. Now we we'll start drawing out our image. From here to here is ticking. So I'm going to ticking from here to here. So from this point, I'll ticking it to this point here. You can see that. That's the first one we do now the next one is from here to here is 18 so i'll measure 18 as easy as that from here from 0 to 18 is here now taking it you can see that so and the next one is the height given right so from this point here as you can see on the diagram i'm going to take it upward this way point line right then from this point here which is this point around here i'll measure 15 downward so let's measure 15 downward from zero here to this point here 15 from here to here now that's taking it once and for all right you can see that and it is closed up from here now let's close it up Straight ahead.
Let's do that. And I'll do the same thing here too. From here, it's closed. I'll close it up. You can see that. Now the next thing is from here to here is equals to from here to here, which is from here to here, and that is 18, right? So I'm going to measure 18 from here. From zero. Two eighteen. This is where eighteen is, and I'll take it up, right? Hope you can see that. And from here to here, is from here to here, and that is also ticking up. So I'll take it up too. I see that and from here to here is from here to somewhere around here and I'm going to close it up too. Now from here to here is from here to here. I'm going to close it up too. Hope you can see that. Now the next thing is, I'm going to measure six millimeter from here downward, which is from here to somewhere around here. Measure six downward. So let's do that and see. From zero to six. You can see that. Having in mind that from here to here also is twelve. Since you move from here to here is thirty, once you move eighteen here is many twelve. Now I'll use my instrument. Since I'm using an instrument, I don't have to measure from here again to here. I'll just draw my line on this point. This is on your T-square. You draw a parallel line to this point, taking it. Can you see that? Then you join the diagonals, and then the inclined line there, from this point to this point, as you can see in the diagram. Right from here to here. And from here to here. Hope you can see that. Then from here to here is six, which is from here to around here. So I'm going to measure six again from this point. From zero. To six, which I'm going to take in. Can you see that? And I'm going to draw a parallel line from that point to this little my T square this way, and I'll close it up. And I'll close it up. You can see that I'm going in from here to here, which is from here to around here, and that is six. So I'll just draw a line going in from here this way, and I'll measure six millimeter from zero to six here, right? Which I am going to what ticking. So you can see that, and I'll take it down with my faint line first. And I'll measure a height, right, of 12. As you can see from here to here is 12. So I'll measure 12 from this point. From 0 to 12. Right? From 0. Twelve here, which I am going to take in.
Hope you can see that. And I'll take it in from here to here, which is here to here, to touch the vertical line. Right? And I'll take it to the side from here to here, which is from here to here. I'll take it there. I'll also take this in with faint line. So that I can close it up as shown in the diagram. And I can also take it up to after the diagram, then I can bring it down. As shown in the diagram and I can also take it to this way. Hope you can see that and we are not done. So from the diagram here there is a figure here. And the question is telling us to measure 12 from this point which is this point backward. So let us measure the 12 and see what will happen. So we should measure 12 from this point from zero right to this is 12 here can you see that i'm going to draw a line this way so instead of 12 the best thing is for you to just so that is 12 we have there and i'll just draw a parallel line That way, and the next thing is we should measure 14 from here to here, which is the center of the cigar, or just the center of the cigar. It's as simple as this, just draw a diagonal this way. You place it this way, and you draw this right, and you place it this way too, and you draw this. Here's the center here, so in that center, I'm going to draw a line. That to go through that point this way. So this is the center point here, where this and this meet. So since we are giving sixteen, I can easily just measure sixteen, measure six, eight to the left and eight to the right. Place it this way. Can you see what I'm doing? Then this is eight here. It to the left, and this is another it to the right. Can you see that? So, I'll just take my instrument and um, I'll place it this way. Draw a line this way, and also draw a line this way. And the height here from here to here is 7, which is from here to here, somewhere around there. So, I'll measure 3.5 to the top and 3.5 to the bottom. 3.5 to the left, 3.5 to the right. So from zero here, I measure this is 3.5. Let me see three here. I also measure three here. Hope you can see that. So let's close it up this way. Close up. Right to this list two close up. Can you see that? And also close up two. Then here two close up. Then I can easily bring it down. Hope you can see that. Then I'll close it down too. Now the next thing that we have here is that um, there's a circle here. And the circle you see here is telling us is at the center of the figure. So I won't have to stress myself. Right? I'll just take, since 14 is half of 28, that means in the middle of the figure. Those draw diagonals. So when I take my instrument this way, 
I connect to the double nose. I come here too. I connect to the double nose. The way they meet here, that is the center of my circle. So and it's going to be diameter of all four. It's so small, very, very small. Very, 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 very small. So what I'll do is this. I don't draw a vertical line along that point. It's too small, too, too small. Consider diameter of eight. Diameter of what? Of four. So it's too small. So what I'll do is I'll assume it is radius of eight, maybe radius of eight, but the diameter of what? Eight. So I'll just measure four up, four down. Right, so let's go to see. Can easily measure, or can easily use it too. Don't worry, let's work with it. Diameter of four. So we have from here, we have zero, one, two, zero, one, two. It's too small. Similarly, I'll do the same thing too. Two here, and also two here. And I'll just Close it up this way. Here to this way. Then close it up. And also close it up. So it is very small. I'll just take my hand and just Can you see that? That is just of it. Right? So we've um, drawn out the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen. And another important thing you should do is for you to draw your word, your dimension in as shown in the diagram. Can you see? Then you don't do the rest. This is what we have here. So if you have um, found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.